Jenny loves Halloween. She loves the decorations. She loves the costumes. But mostly, she loves the candy. Jenny's been dreaming all day about how much candy she's going to get. A hundred grand bar. Another hundred grand bar. An apple. Yet another hundred grand bar. So how much will Jenny really enjoy eating all this candy? The way she envisions it, she's going to love the first candy bar. She's going to love the second one, too. And the third, she's going to love it just as much as the others. Each additional candy bar will contribute the same amount of enjoyment forever. At least, that's what Jenny expects. But is that what really happens? Let's see. When Jenny eats her first candy bar, she loves it just as she imagined she would. When she eats her second one, she likes it just less than the first. And the third one, eh. Unlike in her daydream, Jenny actually experiences what's called diminishing marginal returns. Each additional candy bar adds to her total enjoyment just less and less. The thing is, diminishing returns doesn't apply just to Halloween candy. It applies to other things, too. And one of them might surprise you. According to Daniel Kahneman, winner of the Nobel Prize in Economics, We looked at how feelings vary with income. And it turns out that below an income of $60,000 a year, people are unhappy. Above that, we get an absolutely flat line. In other words, earning money is a bit like eating Halloween candy. Still, you got to wonder, will knowing this actually change how much candy we want? Peel it back, fuel mines properly, spark intellect, fill minds with the energy of knowledge in this world that we live in, be a vessel of the light, of the truth, of the remedy.